Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to film a Sephora Ulta makeup haul, kind of like a birthday makeup haul, because these are the things that I got for my birthday. I'm gonna start out with the things that I got from Sephora. The first thing that I got from Sephora is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And I got it in the shade 370. Now I know this foundation has been out for a while. It's pretty much old news in the makeup world but I've never used this because I'm more of a drugstore makeup person and only only because I feel like drugstore has come a long way and you can get a really, really good makeup look just using drugstore and not high-end. But there are times that, you know, I would like to splurge here and there. And for my birthday, that's what I did and so I got this and I'm really excited to try it out. So if you would like to see um, my review on it or want to know what I think about it after using it, then leave a comment down below and I'll maybe I'll do a review video, reply to your comment and telling you how I thought about it. But yeah. And then the next thing that I got at Sephora is a liquid matte lipstick from Huda Beauty and it is in the shade Venus. And it makes me look like a brat doll from here. But, um, anyways, I have used a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick before and I really, really like it. And it smells so good. It smells like, I think it, sm it smells like a cupcake or like a vanilla or something like that. It's really, really nice. I thought that this would be a really, really pretty nude on me. So, yeah, I got that. And then the next thing that I got at Sephora is the Ciate London Glitter Flip. Now, if you've um, been on YouTube, you've probably heard of this before, but if not, this is a liquid lipstick that when you put it on and you purse your lips together, I like that, it will your lips will turn glittery. Start out looking like a regular liquid lipstick, and then when you press your lips together, it turns to a glittery amazingness, basically. And I got it in the shade Hollywood. And I've been wanting to get this since last year because I wanted to wear it for my um, Halloween costume because if you don't follow me on Instagram last year, I was Jessica Rabbit for Halloween. If you would like to see those pictures, um, follow me on Instagram, it'll be down below. I think I'm going to do a how to look like Jessica Rabbit uh, video, So, and I'll be using this, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, and then the packaging of this is so pretty. Like, I love it so much. Look at that. It looks like Christmas. Just like with the sparkly top. I just want to display this by itself. Like, it needs its own platform or something. I don't know. Okay, so the next thing that I got from uh, Sephora is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer. And I got it in the shade Cappuccino, and it looks like this. It's really, really pretty. Um, and the inside, ooh. And I've never used this before, but I was, I wanted to use a, um, my, I was almost running out of my bronzer, and I used the L'Oreal True Match Foundation Powder in the shade Coco, actually, to con, to powder contour slash bronze. But I wanted to try a high-end one, so I decided to pick this up. And the next thing that I got at Sephora is another Anastasia Beverly Hills product, and, and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick. Now, although it is a foundation stick, I get it in a darker shade than my skin tone. I get it in the shade Espresso, because I love to use this to cream contour my face. So, I have never used it as a regular foundation before. Maybe one day I will, but if you have, let me know how you like it, and down below in the comment section. If you wanted a cream contour that's really, really easy to use, I suggest this Stick Foundation by Anastasia Beverly Hills because it's really, really good. And if you're anything close to my skin tone, um, the shade Espresso will be a really good contour shade for you. And then the last thing that I got at Sephora is the um, Cap On The Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. Weirdly enough, I a year ago, I actually didn't like this shade on me. And But then when I went shopping, I was like, hmm, let me try it. And then I put it on and I liked it. 
So I was like, whatever, I'll just pick it up then. Um, so yeah, I'm sure you, it's a really iconic shade, so I'm sure you guys have already seen it. But let me, let me take it out. But this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's almost like a mauve nude. <laughs> so the next few things I got at Ulta. The first thing that I got at Ulta. So Ulta right now is doing their 21 days of beauty. Meaning for 21 days, they have products that go from 40% or 50% off. Um, and there are some things that are just online and, and some things that are in store. Unfortunately, I found that out the hard way because there was one of the items that I wanted really really badly unfortunately was only an online thing and it was too late by the time I found that out so I the things that I picked up in store that was part of the 21 days of beauty one of the things is the this pure um, through pro eyelashes and it is in the style bombshell and this is what they look like and they're really really pretty so I'm excited to use it so this is 50% off and then the other thing that I got, part of the 21 Days of Beauty, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. And I've used the Browas before, but I've never used the Brow Definer. And the Brow Definer, I guess it's like a little thicker. Like, the, the little pen part is a little thicker, I guess. I'm not really sure. But it was 50% off, so I was like, why not? Why not try it? Um, and I got it in the shade Ebony. I usually use granite because um, my hair is pretty dark, but they didn't have granite, so I was like, okay, I'll just take the Ebony, it's fine. So yeah, that's what I have. And then the next thing that I got at, at Ulta is the Morphe Continuous, the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Now I've never used this, but I've always wanted to use it. And if you've been under a rock or I don't watch YouTube that much, and you've never heard of this it basically so a regular setting spray usually it pumps out as many times you press the nozzle this one it, as long as you keep your finger on the nozzle it's continuously spray so it's like a it's like a hairspray for your face and so I'm really excited to try that so yeah and then the next thing that I got from Ulta is another Morphe item, and it is a Morphe eyeshadow brush. I've never used any brushes from Morphe, so but I heard a lot of mixed reviews, or read a lot of mixed reviews, I guess, of people saying that it depends on the collection and stuff. And I didn't want to buy a whole collection just to find out that it wasn't even a good one. So I'm waiting it out, maybe trying a couple different brushes here and there, and then splurging on a whole collection of brushes um, but I did pick up the M441 Morphe brush and it's like an eyeshadow crease brush looks like that but yeah I'm really excited to use it and then the next thing that I got um, at Ulta is this Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette in it's called the Reloaded Neutrals 2 and it's so good I haven't used it on my eyes yet but I swatched the tester inside of the Ulta and this thing swatches like a high-end eyeshadow palette I was so blown away by it and if you love warm tone shades and like the terracotta orangey red shades you will love this palette and so yeah and those are my favorite shades to use as you can tell <laughs> but um Yes, and this only retails for $7. $7 for all these eyeshadows that are so good. So yeah, you should, if you don't know if you wanna get it or not, even though it's only $7, go inside the store and then swatch it and then make your decision. But I'm telling you, for $7, I would've thought this was like a $30 palette. It's so, it's that good. The last thing that I got at Ulta is something that I've been wanting forever and it's been raved about for years it's an iconic item that everybody knows about that everybody has used except for me <laughs> and it is the Tarte Shape Tape I have never used this before because I always feel like the price tag is so high just for a concealer and I wear makeup a lot so I feel like I'm gonna go through this like butter and I was so scared to get it for $30 um, but because it was my birthday and I 
uh, I was like, you know what, let me just splurge and try it out at least. And so I got this Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium Tan Golden. So yeah, I'm really, really excited and a little scared that if I use it, I'm gonna fall in love with it and then I'm gonna re use, a, use it all up and then I'm gonna have to repurchase it. But um, I thought it was definitely worth it for my birthday, so I'm really excited to use it. But uh, yeah, that's everything that I got for my birthday makeup haul. And yeah, if you would like to know what I think about any of the items after using or a review video on any of the items, just let me know down below in the comment section. And if you want to follow me on any other social medias, I will leave my Instagram and Snapchat down below in the description box. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!